Hey guys, this is Dr. Sandy wishing you an incredible day. Uh, just enjoying this weekend. It is beautiful. Uh, just so grateful for this weather. And I wanted to make a video about maximizing your results with stretching. So obviously if you're my patient, you know regularly and I promote it all the time. To me, stretching is exactly like brushing your teeth. It's something you have to do daily. Um, it's free. The only thing it requires is your time. And it's a huge, huge compliment um, to getting chiropractic care. Chiropractic care is designed to go to certain segments which are locked, unlock those areas so we have proper range of motion so the nerve system can work the way it should. So your body works better, you feel better, you function better, you have more range of motion, uh, muscles work better, organs work better, the whole system is working at that full potential. Much like if I have a door that's jammed and maybe it's only open to 50% and I can use that door but I have to squeeze through and it's uncomfortable sometimes but I'm managing. Uh, there's a lot of people walking around now who are just managing so their spine is locked at a certain level, it's jammed and stretching is a huge compliment. Now let me make this clear. If you stretch all the time, that's powerful but if you want to go next level, you need to get that chiropractic care to get those exact segments. So for example, if, if I have some issues in my neck, I can do stretches, but let's say I need to unlock C3 or C5. Stretching is going to help, but it's very general. It's not designed to get to those specific segments. When you see a chiropractor, when you're coming to our office, we're going to those areas that are locked specifically. For example, for this conversation, C3 or C5. Has it locked to the left side? Has it locked to the right side? It's not just moving the way it should. A chiropractic adjustment will go to that specific segment, unlock it, let the nerve system work the way it should so you have maximum health potential. Having said that, on the flip side, let's say someone's coming to me and they're getting adjusted regularly and they're not stretching. I still actually personally think they're not maximizing the results. It's great, we're unlocking the system, we're getting things the way they should be. But if they could stretch, you're teaching the body to maintain that range of motion. You're teaching the body that you need to have this healthy movement. And especially we live in a time where a lot of people, whether they're students or adults, are on computers, their phones all the time, and the system is not moving, the spine is not moving freely, and that will result to health issues, health problems, the body not working the way it should, and it could be prevented. So we need to do the chiropractic to get to those specific areas that stretching can't clear out, but we also need to stretch to maintain those chiropractic adjustments. We need to do both. I actually think they're both very powerful. Uh, and we need to do them. The other thing I would say to you too, let's say you're going through your stretch routine and everything's going well, but again, for example, um, when you turn your neck, for example, to the left, you're like, I can do it, but I just feel some resistance. Everything else is pretty good. Your body's giving you feedback. So I would be smart about it, you know, see what you can do. Maybe what you're gonna do in the beginning is if, like for, my, for myself, let's say I can't move to the left. I might just go partially, but I'm gonna make a note in my mind that, wow, I'm having issues when I turn to the left. That needs more attention. That's your body giving you feedback. So I might do my stretch routine in the morning and night, but then what I would do is uh, that neck area where I can't turn to the left, guess what I'm gonna do? three, four times a day, I'm gonna work on that area. And maybe the other areas I'm holding for 30 seconds, for example, this one I might be only able to, able to hold comfortably for four or five seconds, but I'm gonna go multiple times a day and I'll know my body's giving me feedback, that's where I need to put the attention. Um, and just spend more time on those areas. It might be your lower back. You stretch, but you're like, when I, when I do my lower back stretches, I really feel that. Um, that's your body saying it just needs more attention, so we should honor that. If you are my patient, obviously you can share on a visit what's happening to your body. I'm there to assist you. Um, and even in general, if you're just stretching and something feels like there's resistance, be aware of it. Give it more attention. You meet, Generally speaking, what I recommend to patients is ice. If it's like a shooting pain, uh, heat if you feel like it's locked or spasm but here's the golden rule because those are general like general principles what I've seen with our patients it totally depends on your body type so I've had people where you know they have that strong pain and I would usually say ice you know obviously if it's intense and it's inflamed and guess what those people do great with heat uh, I've had situations where um, you know something's really tight but for some reason people feel better with the ice you know, it, it totally depends. I would say in general, as a principle, whether you use ice or heat, you know, five to 10 minutes, use your judgment, never put it directly on the skin. You want to use a towel, um, but pay attention to that. Use that. The other thing I would also recommend is that if you 
work and you are sitting all day, then you need to make a note, for example, okay, I generally feel the low back. Yes, I'm doing the stretching, but check your work environment. What are you doing most of the day? Because another thing I want to share with you, sometimes this happens as well. A patient will come in and it'll say, oh my gosh, you know, this feels like it came out of nowhere. And I'm here to tell you, <laughs> that was just a bee, sorry about that. I'm just here to tell you that things don't come out of nowhere. There's a reason for it. The body is very intelligent. Um, things don't just pop out of nowhere. It doesn't work that way. There's a reason for it. And maybe for a while your body's been compensating. It's been managing. One day you get up and you're like, where did that come from? It came from somewhere. Maybe months, maybe potentially years of just repetition doing the same thing. And you're like, this came out of nowhere, Dr. Sandy. And I mean, the only exception would be if someone had an injury, a car accident, and I get it. Minus that, if it feels like it came out of nowhere and you're like, I really didn't do anything, it's years of faulty mechanics, maybe the work you do, sitting a lot, lifting a lot, pushing a lot, could be uh, stress-related. If you're chronically under stress, your whole nerve system starts to tighten. The muscles start to tighten. We start to lose range of motion. The body feels like it's under attack when you're under chronic stress. I want you to think about that statement. The body feels like it's under attack. How would you feel if you know, like for example, like a big lion was coming after you or a big bear or a big animal? What would your physiology do? It would tighten, it would lock, you might run, you might be ready to fight, but the system starts to tighten, right? And imagine you're under chronic stress now. Now, obviously we live in a time where lions and bears are not chasing us, but now we have stress maybe work-wise, financially, taking care of our family or whatever it looks like, that stress tightens your physiology. The brain is in the almost fearful state. It's tense. The body gets tense. And when the body gets tense through the nerve system, you start to see breakdown. Because if it stays short-term, it makes sense. Yes, you know, sometimes we're going to get stressed. It's going to happen to all of us. That's just part of life. The problem is if it stays that way, then it leads to health issues. So, do the stretching, be mindful. If something's not feeling right, be aware of it. If you're my patient, obviously share with me, but just give that the extra attention it needs. Look at your work environment. Of course we know this as well, and I'm gonna say it. Look at your water consumption. That's obviously gonna help lubricate the joints. Uh, just helps the whole system work better. The body thrives on water. So just, you know, look at if you're drinking enough water. Um, those are some things to consider. Another thing I would always say as well, are you getting enough rest? Uh, sleep is critical. Sleep is when the brain and nerve system heals. Most of the body actually goes into the purpose of sleep. My understanding at this point is that's when the body um, kind of resets. It gives the body a chance to repair mentally, physically, emotionally, whatever's happened throughout the day. So sleep is always going to be a positive. So look at those things. Um, but I just want the best for you. And why do I make these videos? And honestly, in the bigger, bigger picture, why am I a chiropractor? I want people to have the best life possible. I, if you're listening to this, I want you to have the best life possible. And I'll be honest, I'd love to work with you and just make your life better. And you might be like, that's great. Maybe because of distance or whatever. And you're like, oh, whoever you decide to work with, work with someone who is committed to getting you better, maximize it. You know, I want everyone to have a long life as long as possible. Uh, and I think equally important is not only a long life, but a good quality of life. And I, I think that's what chiropractic represents. That's what PowerFlow chiropractic represents. That's what Dr. Sandy represents is let's have the best, like a long life, but let's have a good quality of life. Let's be so strong and healthy that we can be there for our family, our friends. We can make a contribution to the world because I'm telling you, healthy people contribute. Healthy people make the world a better place and we need more of that more than ever. And honestly, when you're healthy, you're, you're just... You look at things, you're going to be more optimistic, you're going to feel good, you're going to feel happy. You want to do stuff for people because you're in that state. But when you're not healthy, when you're in pain, you can serve energy. It's hard to be there for your family. It's hard to be there for your friends. It's hard to do your best at work. That's the reality. So let's have the best life possible. You deserve it. God bless. I hope this message really helped you. I'll see you again. Dr. Sandy signing off.